Peter Bishop. I've been with the uh, Ronald McDonald House at Parkville since 1986. I originally started as the house manager and then moved into the role of general manager some years ago. Obviously, they have seen the house grow over a long period of time. Originally started as the one staff member and have seen the team grow to 28, which has been a wonderful feat to the team of board members, support staff, families, our sponsors, our donors who have been extremely generous, who have enabled us to grow over that period of time. We couldn't do that without all the support and people working together. In the first 20 years of the house operation, it's been a lot about the house, but more recently we've incorporated the Ronald McDonald Learning Program the Wodonga family room based at Wodonga. More recently we've worked in conjunction with RMHC National in terms of fundraising strategies and improvement for the houses and we've been accommodating their national staff at Parkville and we're working together with them to provide opportunities and educational opportunities for fundraising teams from all around Australia in the houses. My name's Nikki, I've been part of the Ronald McDonald House family for six years now. I find it such an amazing place where families can get the comfort and support from, from each other and the environment and it's just a fabulous place to be able to make a difference. Hi, I'm Salma and I'm the house manager. Our house began operating from a single terrace house in 1986 to now occupying an entire row of 11 beautiful terrace houses adjacent to the Royal Children's Hospital. Our house offers a variety of facilities from 47 bedrooms to isolation units, fully equipped kitchen facilities, dining, living areas and play areas. We are a house partnered with the Royal Children's Hospital in Melbourne, offering accommodation for families when their children are being treated by a serious or life-threatening condition. And accommodation is generally one thing that they don't consider when they first arrive, so it's a safe place for them to be together with their children while they're here. Hi, I'm Abigail, I'm 11 years old and I've been at the Ronald McDonald House for three weeks now. I live in Portland, Victoria. When I was in hospital, Oceania, my sister and dad stayed here and like mum and dad were taking in turns to stay up in the, in the ward with me so that mum would do one night and then they would swap over. I was in hospital for originally 41 days. Now I go to the, to the Peter McCallum Hospital every day for radiation and I like the house a lot. It's not home, but it's enough to call home for the time that I stay here. Hi, I'm Lindley and this is my daughter Katie. We're from Brim in northwest Victoria. Katie was diagnosed with neuroblastoma stage four. Katie was two and a half. Coped exceptionally well with all the doctors and the probing that goes on. It's meant a place to stay, a place to call home when home is so far away. To have a place that you can cook, that you can play, that you can base yourself with your family. It's just been exceptional. While our primary focus is providing accommodation for families in need, there are so many other support services that we offer while the family are here. And it's those little things that actually make such a difference that the families tell us they've actually never thought about before. I think that Ryan McDonald provides just that stability, that sort of constant in a little person's life. And it's important to have the routine, that they have bedtime. So you've still got those boundaries and those routines that are important to keep for, for little people. My name is Fiona. I've been working as a volunteer at Ronald McDonald House for nearly four years. I come in on said day afternoons for three hours and I just do whatever needs to be done. We have all sorts of different special occasions on Saturdays, so we do lots of coordination of that kind of thing and we spend a lot of time with the children. We might clean a room or help a family who's moving in or help a family who's moving out. We have met so many different volunteers, whether it's volunteers coming in to cook for us. When you've been in hospital all day, that you know that when you get back here, there's a meal waiting for you, so you don't have to go through the whole long process of cooking and getting something ready for someone that's so, so hungry. They've supported us in such ways of wanting to know where we are with our treatment, how things are going. They've also providing assistance where you need, whether it's information to get somewhere, to just helping out. And it's just that friendly personalities and, and nothing's ever too much trouble. Yeah, the staff have been fantastic. They're, they're very friendly, very nice. And the volunteers that cook us our food, they, they're fantastic. They make barbecues, roasts, they do all sorts of things. It's very nice of them to, just to come around and cook for us. 
volunteers provide activities in the house, drawing, craft, their celebrations through Christmas, through Easter, it's always functions going on. That's quite amazing actually the number of volunteers that we see come through our doors every month or every day that actually come through to want to help and support families going through such a tough time and we really really couldn't do what we do without the help of our volunteers. It's a great base for meeting up with family. They don't feel intimidated coming into an environment like this. There's so many areas you can sit down and a lovely outdoor setting where you can sit down at summertime and have a barbecue. So they're areas which are friendly and um, inviting for not only families but for the extended family as well. That is one of the biggest things in Ronald McDonald House where you can meet other families that are going through the same situation. That is really important. You don't understand the enormity of the generosity within the house. The people that donate their time, their energy for such families and until you experience it, the enormity, the time that is given, not to just the families but to the kids as well. Families can stay with us from one night to anywhere up to 18 months. As hospital stays, treatments and surgeries increase annually, so does the demand of our much needed services. Without a Ronald McDonald House, these families would have nowhere to go but their car or an uncomfortable hospital ward. We really can't say thank you enough. With 700 families on average coming through the doors this year, we really need to provide a haven where they can actually find support from staff and volunteers and from other families to help their journey and make it just a little bit easier to get through. Thank you.